renowned chef, Bruin McStewart. Hi Humphrey, how you doing? I'm I am Bruin McStewart. So Bruin, talk us through what you're doing right now. Well Humphrey, what we're trying to do is we're trying to make the cocktail of the week. So what we've done, see, I don't know if you can get in there, can you have a look at this? See this? This is the ingredients. What we have in here is we've got some Remy Martin. And what you do is you start to bring that up to the boil with some sugar in there. I mean, it already smells great. I get, well, that's just me. But, the secret is, you have to make sure, before you start, oh, that's lovely, um, that you've burnt the pan full of peas first, because it sets up a really charismatic layer so, I mean, surface. talk us through the burning of the peas. Obviously, everyone knows how to cook peas. Uh, you just ah, see, I, I can stop you there because cooking peas is completely different to burning them. How so? Well, you see, what you have to do there's there's actually a setting which many people don't know about this on your household hob. So this is set to cook. You give it a little twist clockwise. Now that is set to cook quickly. But what they don't really understand, Humphrey, is that right here, now that is the burn setting. All it takes is a little 10 minutes on there, and you burn those peas fantastic. And I mean, are we looking for just to, to evaporate off the water or to actually reduce the peas to some kind of inhuman looking toxic slush? Well, we are generally looking for the inhuman toxic slush. I mean, if you get in there, get in there, come on, you're missing all the good stuff. You see that? That's the sort of consistency that we're looking for here. But this is just the, the very beginnings of the cocktail. So what's the next stage? Well, the next stage is obviously going to be Jacques Daniel. Come with me and I'll show you where we keep the Jacques Daniel. This is my study. This is where I write most of my recipes. Here we have one of my oldest recipes. I can't get it out. It's very old. But in there, that's where I invented potatoes. Right. Now here is where we store the Jacques Daniel. But see, that's not a good age. We're looking for one which has a. Uh, this is the one. What you're looking for, it has to be the right weight. That's when you know you've got a hit. And when you have a hit, you have to sound the Jacques alarm. <laughs> Today. So, if you'd like to come back with me, I'll show you the next stage. So, how much jack do we need for this recipe? Well, oh yeah, that's good. There's a secret. That secret is not too little, but also you have to make sure that. That's not, yep, that's about right. So, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. I think, yeah, I think that should do it. Mm -hmm. I'm finding dealing with the methods of Bruin McStewart to be very challenging. Um, he's, he's a unique individual with his own style, um, is certainly an undeniable talent. I, oh, oh, what, sorry, what are you doing now? Me? I'm just preparing the drink. So this is, it? this is raw egg and, and chili crackers that, that we've got in here now, is it? So far, this is the first leg. You've got to remember, we've still got the burnt pea with Jack Daniels. Simmering away over there. Make sure the first layer is all right. Tell you what, the amount of times I didn't quite put enough egg in this, he ruined it. Good. Fantastic. We're nearly ready to go. It's nearly set. This is the sort of consistency we're aiming for. Oh shit, I just remembered something. <laughs> I got so excited. I've just drank the bottom layer of the drink. 
That's the, the raw egg and the chilli cracker mix. Yeah, I thought there was something missing. The rest of the fucking drink! <laughs> that's, um, that's really, um, something. Oh, it will be. I'm nearing the end of my time with brewing McStewin now, and it's been really educational, but I can't help but feel that he... He sometimes makes things up as he goes along and perhaps isn't quite the expert um, that we've been led to believe. Now, I've been asked to leave the kitchen so he could add a few uh, secret finishing touches to the cocktail. We're going to go back now and uh, we're going to check up on, on his progress and see how... Bruin! Bruin, how's the... Bru That's a spicy meatball. Now, as a documentary maker, I... I'm committed to showing things as as and how they happened and without interfering at all. So um, with that in mind, I just um, obviously just checking for a pulse and I know want it there. Uh, oh, that's as good a place to leave this as anyway. Um, so thanks for watching Cocktail of the Week.